What's up guys, it's Johnny Candido of Candido Training HQ and today we're going to learn how to front squat with proper form. But first let's take a look at a very common mistake. What I'm showing here is something I've seen many lifters do and that's sitting too far back and allowing the chest to fall when performing the front squat. And this may not seem like a big deal at first when you're dealing with lighter weights, but once you start handling heavier weights this position becomes unsustainable. Alright, so I broke it down into three simple steps to front squat with proper technique. The first step is crucial, and that is to bring your elbows up. Now you see most people on rack the weight taking a normal grip, and this is fine if you have exceptional wrist mobility, but most people do not. So this essentially makes it impossible to keep your elbows up. So what I suggest is that you just wrap two fingers around the bar, and this will make it easier to bring your elbows up, creating that front rack position that you want while your hands just help guide the bar rather than the weight actually resting on your hands. Keeping the elbows up is crucial critical to maintain thoracic extension throughout the lift. You also might find this a bit more comfortable if you tilt your head slightly up. The second step is to open up your hips. Now you're not going to be using your hips to the same extent that you would in a back squat, but the reason why this is still important is because this allows you to stay upright without having excessive forward knee travel. The goal with these first two steps is to allow you to maintain an upright position, which is absolutely crucial when front squatting. Okay, the last step is to emphasize pushing off of your heels. Since the weight is in front of you, it's even easier to come up on your toes in a front squat than it is in a back squat. A mental cue I like to use is to think about pulling myself down into my heels. If you can stand your heels during the eccentric portion of the lift, usually it'll be very natural for you to push off your heels during the concentric portion as well. Alright, so now to apply all three steps to front squat with proper form. You see I'm keeping my elbows up, opening up at the hips, and emphasizing pushing off of my heels. You also notice that my knees do travel forward to a significant extent, and this is necessary because the front squat is a quad dominant movement and we're trying to stay as upright as possible in that bottom position. You'll see that we're staying more upright in a front squat in comparison to a back squat because there's an even greater emphasis on the quads via knee extension while in the back squat we're involving the glutes a bit more via hip extension as well. Also I want to say that when front squatting don't be afraid to start with very light weights even if it's just an empty barbell. Alright guys I hope this video is helpful make sure to like the video support the channel subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching guys. Peace! Peace.